Hello, I'm First Alert Meteorologist David Reese on your side with your Monday afternoon forecast for WRBL.com. And we do have a slight chance of rain late tonight and early tomorrow morning, but that's only because of a strong cold front moving on through. But notice most of the activity is going to be to the east of the News 3 viewing area or east of Interstate 75. And then we see a strong high pressure move in from Canada. That's going to set up shop over Missouri during the day tomorrow. And a low-pressure system developing off the Outer Banks of North Carolina is going to do one thing. It's actually going to do a lot of different things, that low-pressure system. But it's going to have an impact on our forecast as it will help draw in all that cold Canadian air right over the top of us. The other thing it's going to do is bring snow and blizzard-like conditions to Cape Cod, Martha's Vineyard, up in Massachusetts. So, yeah, it's it's going to be a rough go for them up there and then the Canadian Maritimes up towards Nova Scotia. But here locally, it's just going to get downright cold. How cold is it going to get, you ask? Well, upper 20s to low 30s are in the cards early Wednesday morning. Officially, we're going with 33 degrees, but still... Notice Wednesday afternoon with a full blast of sunshine. We're talking about temperatures only near 60 degrees, but this cool snap does not last all that long as we'll be back in the low to mid-70s by next weekend after a pretty decent shot of some rain during the day on Friday.